I introduced a lot of you to Brianna last week. And for those who missed it, basically, Brianna is a social media influencer who posts her various adventures, her various outdoor adventures and travel adventures. And look, I'm going to tell y'all, fascinating and interesting to say the least. I'm all about some Brianna adventures, okay? This is her social media. Y'all got to go follow her. I highly recommend it. You will fall in love with her content. I'm like, yes, give me all the adventures. <laughs> Y'all know I'm all about an adventure. Hello, my blog channel is called Southern Adventures, by the way. Shameless plug. But anyway, she posts her various adventures for her large following. She also has a book out and currently writing another. Brianna is very relatable to me. Because she's been attacked, harassed, and bullied online for a long time. Now, unlike me, because most of you already know, I have always showed messages, comments, false strikes, accounts being hacked, my accounts and channels being shadow banned, and I've always been open and raw with my emotions about it and how it makes me feel. As a result, I've had countless accounts tell me I'm the problem. I shouldn't complain about these vicious, hateful, evil, and uh, illegal attacks, which never made sense to me because why are people out here trying to silence people who are saying, hey, stop attacking me and stop bullying me, and then they're showing proof. Why would you be like, shut up? I mean, that don't even make sense. That is trolls saying that from their various, because they have various accounts. And it's sad and pathetic. I'm not going to be quiet about it. And I'm glad Brianna isn't either. Now, I've also been open and honest about my PTSD. I've had people message me, y'all, and blame me for somebody taking my best friend's life. Again. Somebody else taking my best friend's life. I have PTSD as a result of it. And I've always talked about it. Do you think it's okay to message someone with PTSD to blame them for their PTSD? I mean, imagine you finding somebody with PTSD, messaging them, and saying, well, you're the reason why. I mean, no wonder why you have PTSD. I mean, your friend died. You should feel guilty. You're still here. That's the type of messages I get. And I'm supposed to be quiet about it? I'm supposed to just read them? Huh? And for those of you who say, don't read them. Again, well, I wouldn't be able to read your comment. Think about that. Think about that. But that's what it's resulted to. Me not reading your comments. Because I don't want to read the hate. I'm tired of it. That's what it's resulted to. And that's the honest truth. This isn't right. This isn't okay. And I'm not just going to sit back and allow unhappy, pathetic trolls to torture me mentally while, you know, I just sit back and I have to take it. Nope. Mm -mm. I am so proud of people like Brianna. I'm proud that Brianna is sharing her story and experience with it. So maybe some will realize you can't ignore this. You can't block this out. But you can share it and support those of us who have to take this every single day. Stand with us. Stand beside us. Stop ignoring it. Stop saying, I'm sorry you're going through it. Share it. Share it. If every single one of you who watch these videos would click that share button, you wouldn't believe the amount of change for the good you would do. Sharing is free. Try it. Try it. What's wrong with sharing this? This is what's happening today. It could happen to your kid, your grandkid. Would you feel okay about that? No, you would stand up for them, would you not? Stand beside those of us who are under attack constantly. It's not okay. Here's Brianna's latest update. Serious note, um... I think most of you know that I deal with every difficult thing in my life um, with humor because it's my survival mechanism. Um, it's obviously covering a lot of deep hurt 
I don't think that's really news to anybody. Um, especially because I can just cry on a dime these days, apparently. Um, but I wanted to give an example of something that I've learned uh, about several of these people that it's just like the more and more I learn from my investigator, the more and more people I'm going and blocking. It's so disturbing. So my investigator will tell me to block certain accounts um, whenever she kind of finds that one is linked or this person has these two are owned by the same person, whatever. Um, and before I block the accounts, I always check the DMs to see if there's any messages that I need to screenshot, like for legal purposes or any that would help her figure out who other people are. It's, I, guess, I can't believe I'm living in like a fucking true crime novel. Anyways, um, this is now the second time this has happened. Two different people. And according to my investigator, there's at least eight who have watched all of this go down and responded to my stories being like, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. And they're the ones doing it. And that is just like, so inhumane and scary. Um, you know, people used to, be like, oh, you're being dramatic when I say, like, I don't trust anybody. I don't like meeting new people anymore. I don't like really going to a lot of public places. And people be like, oh, you're being dramatic. I don't know how to trust people. I mean, I can't imagine the level of evil to be doing this to someone and then messaging them I, I, I can't understand. I can't understand it. And I said to my investigator, I was like, no, this, this, this has to be wrong. This, this can't be this person. And she's like, Brie, I'm really sorry, but it is them. And just scrolling back through and like, it just it makes me want to like crawl out of my skin. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was a hard one. That's really, I don't, that's really difficult to process. I don't have any funny jokes about that. <laughs> the most taxing thing, the most exhausting thing about all of this is the paranoia of just this, like, not trusting myself to like know who people are or know people's intentions or just wondering if everyone you come across is gonna betray you in some way um i wouldn't wish that on anybody it really sucks it it's changed the way that i interact with the world and i know y'all hate me but i don't think i deserved that you know, it's really good to be home up here in the trailer, but it kind of hit me like a wave this afternoon that I spent a lot of really, really rough days and nights up here alone trying to deal with all this, trying to make sense of it. And kind of winding up like this, but with no one to talk to about it. And yeah, that's what gets you in a really dark place. And I don't know. I'm really glad she shared that part about trusting people because that's exactly how it is for me. Do you know how many people that I have trusted on the internet who have turned around and have proven themselves to be evil people? Too many to count. Too many. 
You notice what she said? That a lot of those accounts would be like, I'm sorry you're going through this. I support you. They're the ones that were attacking her and bullying her from other accounts. You see? You want to know how many messages I have that are like, big fan, big fan, and then end up just turning and like on a dime. Because those are not real people. Those are a random unhappy troll under fake accounts. I mean, it's... Y'all, y'all, this is not okay. And you, you can't sit here and enable it by saying, just ignore it. You cannot ignore it. A lot of us mentally ill people cannot ignore these things. You know how I've started ignoring it? Quit reading the comments. That means I don't read your comments. And you know what else that's going to mean? If you email me, if you, I'm not going to read those either. You don't want that, and I don't either. I mean, you know what's going to stop it? Is if you share these videos and let everybody know that you know what's going on. You know this is apparently today's society, and it's not okay. And you're going to share the stories, countless stories, because it's real. And you sharing those countless stories, these countless stories, are helping us tremendously. You have no idea. Three years I have been going through this and dealing with this. Three years. But you know what? You know what God said? Keep going. Keep going. Because you on my time. And when the time is right, I'm going to give you all of the knowledge and wisdom and let you share it. And no, I'm not going to seek revenge because I'm going to give it to God like I've said so many times. So many times I'm giving it to God. All of this, all of the evilness that comes my way, giving it to God. He handles my battles. So... Just know that too. By the way, if you're going through this, you're not alone. You're not alone. I'm here with you. I see you. I stand with you. I did reach out to Brianna to let her know she's not alone. And I said, and by the way, you could look me up on YouTube. I have shared my story for three years. So I'm a real person. Watch my videos. Hear my voice. And I told her I was sharing her story. And I also told her I appreciate her so much. Show Brianna some love. Go follow her. Go follow Brianna. Let her know I sent you. Say backwards Barbie sent me. Y'all thumbs up and share this video. I really would appreciate it. I know Brianna would too. Smash that subscribe button. Click that bell beside subscribe to all. That way you'll be notified whenever YouTube sends out notifications. I love y'all so much for watching. And the sad part is. I know this video isn't going to get near as many views as my crazy sister wives videos. That's the crazy thing. If as many people would watch these videos about this real life stuff as they do sister wives and the crazy content, change would be indefinite. I love y'all.